Hello YouTube, it's Mike and Aaron from Team Endgame here, bringing you a channel update video, which is the first one we've ever done in our how many years of having this channel? Well, how many years of service, probably. <laughs> For, uh, yeah. Well, let's be fair, lately it hasn't been very great service. <laughs> um, not purposely, but we'll get to that. We, yeah, we, we'd like to apologise for like the attitude problems we've had in our card fights recently. We know we haven't exactly been happy and fun and... Well, if you weren't yeah. so lucky, then... <laughs> oh, I'm Basically. sorry that triggers exist, alright? Basically, the, the, the problem is, you guys probably have this, this issue as well. Among your Vanguard community, if you regularly play weekly at either the same locals, be it with the same people or just with your friends that are close to you, um, you'll notice that you start to get agitated based on certain things that you find common or you start playing finding ways to counter each other's play style more so than a deck so you know their decks inside and out, you know how any triggers are left it gets to the point where you know their deck and their play style so well and how lucky they are so well all right, for some all right. reason God knows why, I should, you shouldn't get agitated at luck you want to say, you say that but I, have, I, get, I get to you shuffling maybe you say that but I have won like I can't remember the last time I have won on this channel I mm -hmm. can't remember. You won both the last games we played, I'm pretty sure. Probably misplayed, that's not the point. <laughs> Regardless, Mike, the point Mike's trying to make is that we, it's just me and Mike constantly playing on this channel. And we are so used to each other's playstyles, we know how to counter, except for the spat. I still can't counter his grade 2 stall and go up, mm, I'm on 10k, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. It really irritates me when he does it. And that's one thing right, that. So Basically, the we we knocked it down to th a three point. Um, I think discuss so small small discussions as an up and slash update. So the far, first part would be as I was pointed there the format. So uh, the the format at the moment is um, annoyingly slow. I'd say annoyingly slow. Like <sighs> it's it's no it's the problem that the majority of. But the majority of decks, whether they're topping or not, are incredibly slow. The only ones that are winning are the ones that are fast. Okay, I see what you mean. So the, you're saying the game, the game mechanics are slow, but the ones that are winning are fast. When yeah. I say I said meta, I meant the ones that are winning. Yeah, no. So sorry, yeah. I should have specified <laughs> okay, that. Okay, so yeah, so the it's basically because the, it's it's fast. It's the it's look at the decks that are topping. It's well, things. It's well, things. First like, of all, I think we should say why it's slow. Why it's slow is because it's GB. Since <laughs> GP has come out, it's just slow this, slow that because. You need to be past grade, both need to be on grade 3, and then there's you need to strive to get the GB expect of blah blah blah. So, first off, it's annoying that it gives the advantage to second place yet again. Yeah. After Legion, which gave them the advantage as well. But this is even worse than Legion because they get the extra drive check, they get the stupid power. We've been through it before, I'm not going to go into it. Your point, Mike? Um, oh, with, with GB, it's. Um... <clears throat> yeah, so it's. It, it is slow, it is whoever strides first. What annoy us about what's what been topping and things before, um, it's it's just emphasised more now because more people have caught on. It's it's the first person to stride has that advantage unless their first stride is broken as feck, <laughs> in which case that doesn't really matter as much because it's the first stride like the second stride. But it's still the point that people are, are cottoning on to striding... Um, First, by stalling on grade two and things like that, or getting pushing them so hard on grade two that they don't even give them a chance to stall. There's, like, there's no point. Yeah. Because you just have to ride, and then you just you go the advance from there. So naturally, the top decks that are doing that at the moment are Royals, probably being the best one, I'd guess. Yeah. Because um, it's, it's it's any deck can get a full field like that, or <laughs> have multiple attacks in any way, shape, or form has the advantage too much because you can't guard a stride unless you have a perfect guard. But we'll get to the point that yeah. they that in a bit how they've tried to correct that, but um, so you're gonna go from like you're gonna be on like three damage or something by the time they get to stride, and if you don't have a perfect guard, usually you go to four or something, yeah. which is used to be limit break, and that was like oh I can push back now. That was that's why I favorite for <laughs> limit break because you just go oh sod it, uh, I'll just take it. I get limit break, I push back harder. Aqua Force would be another one that can do this. I think shadows are probably quite top still. Yeah, Raging the, form or not? Annoyingly, no. annoying, it's annoying because ever since the start of the game, my favourite deck had been has been Grand Blue. It's been the deck that I wanted to top, be a top tier deck from the start because it was the most fun for me to play. But the new GB stuff 
this is a perfect example, focuses purely on I make a column, big number, is pretty much what it's meant to do. Or just I revive these units. And they go at the end of the turn. And they go at the end of the turn. It's no, it's no, it's, it's not a focus on, you know, manipulation and things like it was meant to be. You can make it like that, but it's less efficient because it's just literally, but the tech that's topping is the less, less expensive <laughs> tech, um, the 7C's deck, because it's got multiple attacks. You give any deck multiple attacks, it'll be top tier. Okay. So, so, I, right. I think we're getting into a meta discussion now, so let's get off that, Mike. I mean, I, t- I know you're going to say because the first point I made was format, and then it went down there. <laughs> so I knew I'd gone wrong. But we went back to there, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so... We're, we're sort of the GB bit now, I guess, because it's basically slow. We went through that. Um, ignore, a, ignore that for now, we'll come to that last, I think. I mean, a, a brief touch on the, on the other next point. Um... Because we mentioned about the lack of variety going against each other all the time and knowing each other's playstyles, blah blah blah. Um, I mean, quite a while ago, um, I had a discussion with, with, the, with the two that were here, but this Aaron's left now at the moment. <laughs> um, that I wanted to go around and go against other people in different, different um, uh, which were locals, uh, just to just <coughs> socialise a bit more and get more involved in the community. And also you go against different people and people have a chance to go on what I'd like to think is a, a popular channel or get in there. Yeah. <laughs> so so um, now that um, yeah. our lives have kind of freed up a bit towards the weekends and such, which is really nice, um, we are considering actually travelling around to different locals and potentially meeting new people, doing videos at said locals and putting them on our channel. Just so there's a bit more variety than just me and Mike every week getting annoyed at each other I mean, I'm, <laughs> and I'm, making this place. Our main worry, to be fair, was... Was the, the the draw the the one that that threw it under the, under the bus as an option was the quality because we like to have a nice quiet room like this recording in what well, I'd say quite decent lighting <laughs> um, so there's no reflection and things and you can hear what we're saying and things like that but obviously the conversations have been lacking so it yeah. kind of nullifies the quality point so there's that point we want to make we're going to try and go around meet some people do content that way. Secondly, we are just looking for ideas of new content to make. I mean, it started out we were doing decks and we were doing discussions and stuff. Love and we tried. I've tried, I've tried the I've in, tried, man. We tried the in-game review. <laughs> hey, that was a good idea. <laughs> that, that that was that was a flop. Okay, but yeah. But the thing is, anything we do, we won't we'll take a while to pick up. <laughs> people don't know exactly what it is and they'll get used to it. And blah blah. But unless we know you guys want it and not just comment going that was nice, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's just like. I don't know what people want to hear. Basically, the point we're trying to make here is if you could let us know what you like on our channel, what you don't like on our channel, and what you'd like to see on our channel, that would be most helpful, and we can try our best to do it. Don't be too harsh, please. <laughs> Granted, I'm aware that you guys go, oh, this breakdown, oh, this breakdown, we still haven't done it. I'm sorry. <laughs> because it's just because, they're one, in response to that, one, uh, things like my Grand Blue deck, like, for example, that I, I played against you recently, is the GB version. It was. I've improved on it since, so it's a better deck now, which is why I didn't want. To, I wouldn't want to do a breakdown prior to that because it wasn't as good as I could get it. When a deck new deck comes out, you have this is my idea, but it's not necessarily the best idea and deck I can do, because in practice I'll learn more and I'll learn how the game mechanic works and what cards make the deck work and make them find them quicker and focus on these this certain combo, which is better. Leading on from that, it's just a bit. Yeah. Kind of a little niggly point that I want to make about our decks and stuff. Is it just because they're not how everyone else does it? Please don't tell us that it's wrong. I mean, we are just trying to be different and trying to be as efficient and creative as possible and not just net deck everyone. So if there's something unusual in the deck, that's why, because we like to try and be original. It's, it's, if, you, it's... if you can, like, make a point as to why it's not as good as this, then great, fine, but please just don't be an arse about it. There have been pretty <laughs> arsey comments recently, and it's just annoyed us slightly, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've, I've, Granted, I've, I, have I've, me, I have admitted I'm wrong on certain of the comments that I reply to, so I do apologise. But, <laughs> it, <sighs> but it's, it's still the point that, yeah, I mean, certain, certain cards and combos are used for a reason and around playstyles. Just because they're used in like main cards in certain decks doesn't necessarily mean that we want to use them and focus on that in our deck. Um, I mean, what was was there anything coming about my Grand Blue deck, for example? 
I think there's a lot of things comment about your computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Well, what, what, can you remember a, a couple of them? Um, so. I'm pretty sure there was a comment that said, things I saw are wrong with this Grand Blue deck. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> listed, You're sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I but mean, I don't know Grand Blue well enough to comment on it, so... But it was just, it was, it was a, quite, a few points there. Um, I'm trying, I, I, I just want to try and make an example point. Can you think of one for you on your decks or something? Um, there was a... <laughs> There's stuff about the Bloom deck, but I do see my... I saw my errors in that, so I have commented back on that to say why. Yeah, that's a fair point. That's, that's not helping my blood. <laughs> I'm meant to find a point that we're right, not... But anyway, it's, it's the point that, um, like, in, in certain decks, I play around certain styles, not... So, like, for example, I prefer consistency and um, aggression. That is my <coughs> two points that I like to tick in my decks. Um... Aaron's very much sustain and what would you say? Defensive. 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 Basically, he 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 wants to. He, we both like consistency, but he'd rather have the a, a few more options available in his decks and be more defensive. But that's just where we start. Uh. So, um, <laughs> they don't care. Cool. <laughs> just find um, the comment for you. <laughs> <laughs> All the things wrong. Okay, sure. Um, <laughs> Common or blue blood. Right, the reason I run 10k vanillas is because I have uh, or, 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 or very much favoured what, what me and Aaron tend to do in our decks. If we can't think of anything to chuck in, we chuck in a 10k ba base. Riding that 10k base stops the rush from the front row going niggle niggle. It's not hitting. You need a boost to hit the 10k. So not every deck can do that. So it slows them down so slow decks can speed up later on. That's why it's there. Um, the, but choosing options whether to use certain skills or not um, is again up to our playstyle. Whether I want to unflip the damage of Necrolazy or not is entirely up to me. It's based on the amount of counterblasts that are available and what I'm planning on doing on future turns. Um, uh, and yeah, just it's saying about the start of things and too many Ghosty Kings. Ghosty Kings was the focus of the deck. The idea was thinning the deck by cards and sending the stands back. So there's a stand already in there, I would send three units that are not the stand, call it, replace the stand, and then send it back, is what I'm doing now at least. Um, otherwise I'll just send two cards at a stand trigger, and I'm just thinning the deck. So I'm more likely to get stand triggers off, and it's just big column, and then trigger dumping with crits. This is slowly becoming less of a challenge. Yeah, I, I, know, I know, I know, but <laughs> that's basically the point. So yes, it's not exactly what you meant, what you expect to see in the deck. People focus on this card right here, which another thing annoys me about the game by the way, Oh look, it's a release of a new mat. Oh, it's got boobs and boobs and yeah, look at boobs. It's just what is wrong with you, man? What is wrong? Nothing, with you? nothing. I'm, I'm. It's, it's not my, my preference when it comes to women, alright. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fucks. <laughs> Does a reverse on the mat on the other hand. Fair enough, but um, <laughs> yeah. So um, moving on. <laughs> so yeah, tra travel. Yeah, so we're traveling. Blah blah. blah. The uh, preferences on our, on, our, on, our, on our decks and things is just up to us. If you guys hear why an explanation, fair enough. That comes, <coughs> in, that comes when we do uh, deck... I don't even call them breakdowns anymore, do we? We want to call them something else. I just want to call them straight up deck profiles. Okay, people, deck people don't seem to So find what's it. a breakdown? Um, yeah, so deck profiles. So in the deck profiles, I'll go over all this in more detail than I have, fun enough, um, based on what, what I use. So there are reasons to it. So rather than so Aaron's point is rather than saying Oh, you're a Muppet, don't use that. You're using that, you can't play the game. Just say why you're using that, in which case we'd go, oh, we're using it because of this. Whether you agree with that point or not, it's up to you, but there are reasons why we put things in the deck. There are always reasons why we put things in the deck. It's not because we just fancy chucking in. Anyway, meta, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's not so much a meta at this point. I think we went through that. It's a slow format, except for the fast decks, which are topping, so Royals, Aquaforce, blah, 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 blah. That aside, what we like is, well, sorry, what people have wanted us to talk about is G-Guardians. And I can say that we love the idea of G-Guardians. I'm pretty sure Mike loves the idea of G-Guardians, at least. <laughs> I, th I, think, I, th I can't remember which discussion it was, but pretty much every discussion <laughs> I've said, we need cards to guard with. We need bloody... We, we, you cannot guard 31 to the... It used to be 16. Yeah. Uh, and it, was 10, 10, it, was, it is an accomplishment to make 21 at Vanguard. <laughs> It used to be such an accomplishment, but not anymore. Yeah, so... I remember when you used to run 8k Romario just because, oh yeah, the bang guy gets an extra 2k, it's 21! Yeah! So you imagine back in, back in the thing, it's like 10, 1 to pass. You said, that's 1 to pass! 
<laughs> I'm the Vanguard! That's insane! But, yes, and the, they thought, oh, the format's too slow. So, obviously, Power Creep comes Legion, comes uh, Stride. I mean, it's just come to the word 31. So, I need 30k guard just for two to buff? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's the game, though. So yeah, basically we're really happy with G-Guardians, it's going to give us a lot more flexibility in terms of guarding, and it can technically speed the game up in terms of activating GB when you haven't even done a stride yet. Yeah, so the, the only point I'd, um, other than that is the fact that yes, this, this does, uh, I'll start on the negative point and we'll start on the positive points. The negative point is yes, it helps guard the Vanguard. No, it doesn't help guard the extra niggles, which is what the format is. So they've, they've accomplished one part, which is you can now guard the huge numbers. So the way we think of it is basically you've got eight perfect guards in a deck. Yeah. That's 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 the kind of logic that we look which at. Which is what we needed. But um, until they sort of help people <laughs> earlier on in the game with the extra attacks and niggles, yes, that is the that is the game. But at the same point, it's not because going unless they increase the damage by one or something, you know, you need that early rush is just too much. The only problem with that is because a lot of this stuff is GB focused, you're not going to find that because they are all. Pr majority of cards are GB reliant unless they have a sub clan, so Blasters or I mean, uh, Seven Cs. Before GB, I, didn't, I never saw the game finishing after my second turn on Grade 3. Yeah. No, it's, that's insane. Um, but it's because they're just too powerful. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of ways to correct it. I mean, you imagine if there's a card that flipped. The G card back up, so I play this, that goes back to the top. Uh, Gear Chronicles have that, but for their own stuff. Yeah, that's for <laughs> their own stuff, but it's more kind of, you're staying on GB. It put, I play this, Cab Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, put all the G cards back to the top of your deck or something. That'd be broken if it was at a cost, but I get where you're coming from. Uh, I, just, I just picked two costs. <laughs> <laughs> Added together. So it might be worth it. But it's the point that it keeps you on GB1. I don't mind you going GB1 if you GB1, yeah. but it's still a GB1, GB2 that I can't stand. Yeah. Unless your be one's stupid, in which case, so, whatever. I guess that's another point, the fact that if you do do a G Guardian, like when your opponent does a first try, then you can get GB2 straight away. I mean, I don't know how impactful that's going to be on the game, depending on, I guess it depends on the deck. When I initially heard it, I thought, yeah, it's amazing, it'll make, it'll, it'll help, so the guy going second can go GB2. But it doesn't work like that. Because... You've got to, you both got to be on grade three, so that means if they're still striding first, so you've gone grade yeah. three, they've gone grade three stride. Yeah. You've still just done one stride. It's not like unless your your GB two is never really something that's that broken. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what there is. Altmal is give three k to front row and call a grade two from the deck. Give it five k. Neonetsa is call a unit from the deck. Also give your front row five k. Right, but there's okay, so Chronicle have a crit. You can't guard with zeros or next stagey. For restand. The, the main problem though was Land broke. I don't think it was ever the person who strides first gets to GB2 first so much as they just get to stride first. Because they the card that I was more interested in is the you haven't ridden, I counter blast two, I stride into this. Yeah. So I'm going second, so I should be going ride stride. But you've gone ride, I'm not gonna ride. I'm saying I'm going to. Then you go, and I go, okay, fine. My grade three, can't plus two, stride. Mm, that's fair. So that, that, that's, that's I need to actually double check that card because you've just kind of brought sense to my mind. If you were to say ride grade three and then they stalled, say this guy didn't use it, they technically haven't ridden, so can you then go ride? Oh, it doesn't matter because you'll be on. Yeah, ignore me. Because <laughs> you're the one stalling on grade two, so you have to ride grade three. That doesn't make a difference. That <laughs> doesn't. Um, well, actually, it kind of does. Because technically the cost for the Crown Elemental one is discarding a card, it doesn't have to be grade three. So if you can't stride, you can technically get away with it by discarding a trigger. That's <laughs> true. That's true. So yeah, um, I, mean, I like that, but the, the heel trigger G Guardian, I mean, without going into detail of some have piss easy effects and some are far better than others for clans. Yeah. Me and Aaron had a discussion about G Guardians in terms of the Crown Elemental one, which I assume there's one. There's two. Okay. There's actually two credits of G Guardians. Okay, um, but it's the point that Sir, but Aaron's, Aaron's going to it further, but it's still the point that I, I like the idea of credimental units that can be used to yeah. balance the game. It's nothing whole. major, but it's just these three cards 
that they are the only Cray Elementals that actually rely on having face-up Cray Elementals in the G-Zone. And it just kind of allows them to be a bit more, be a bit more playable, okay. rather than putting Blizzard or Harmonix Messiah in your deck as your stride, because your G-Guardians will count face-up and you can get the skills off, etc. Granted, I don't know if you'd actually use them or not, but it's just nice to have the option there to use them. So if you imagine so going into a first stride, I stride into this, I flip one unit up, okay I'll flip the Crayon Mentor one up. I guard with a heal trigger, I G guard with a heal trigger, G guard with a Crayon Mentor. I've got two G things face up, so therefore this is now a 9k boost. I don't know that one, sorry. That one, yeah. Um, but if, my first, but if you're going to like Blizzard to start with or something, Blizzard face up, and then you guard with a heal, that's a 10k boost. You've got 10k boost for the rest of the game. So it's just, it's just a nice little four, and if they're bringing out more cards that rely on having G Guardians face um, with Crayon Metal's face up, it's pretty good. Flip one up's even good. Um, going into another negative now, I guess, is the fact that the G zone is increasing to 16. I mean, the excuse that I heard was 16, that yeah, they, they literally went, there's eight, let's double it. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's not think about it. Rather than thinking, <coughs> wait a sec, what is actually changing? We've got four new units that are going to go in there. Five if you include the count bus two to ride or whatever. Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah. So let's say it's five extra ones. Mm -hmm. So you should increase it by five or four. So which may you choose three of the heal, well, the four heals, yeah. heal guardians or one you're stalling. In that three was something I was liking about the G zone. Like they got to, it's gotten to the point where there's so many different strides now that you do have to pick and choose which one fits your deck better. And it is hard to make space sometimes, especially ones that flip up. It's like yeah, that was the that was the whole cost. It's like <clears throat> I need to flip one up. I just want two of this. But this one I can only, I doesn't need to flip up. But it's on here. So, uh, but I need space for the other ones. Like I guess in defence of it, not that I really am sure it's going up to sixteen. But if four is going to be your G Guardians and then one is going to be the Corellan at all. Stride, if you don't ride card like you said, then technically you're up to eleven. So you've got three more cards to put in. But it's still that's quite well, it's, it's, it's increased by eight. If they put five in, then it's yeah, it's free. Yeah, free. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, so I was just thinking about something else. So it's just an extra card that flips itself and one extra tech of a card, possibly. That's if you're running just four G Guardians and the Cray Elemental Stride. But you might run more Cray, uh, might run more G Guardians depending on the situation, because I think that they will have different. Uh, at the moment, you've got the Cray Elemental ones, which can be a twenty k guard if you discard a card, and I can't remember what the other one does off the top of my head. Mm. But it does something else different. Um, <coughs> that was another point as well. Well, I just cut, it's just literally coming to mind as we're talking. Um, I think that in this new format, draw power decks will be just as good as multiple attack ones. Because if you can gain a hand of heal triggers and things, then you can guard these attacks. Because you've got your G guarding, G guarding. They might be able to abuse that somehow. I, I just foresee at least some kind of like Oracle or. Uh, well, that's deck draws. <laughs> great nature. Great, great nature, sure. Uh, Grand Blue to some extent, if you focus on that. Um, yeah, so draw powery decks, uh, or sustaining decks that can outlast a bit longer, like Angels, for example. Um, they might get a bit better because they have more hand presence. Yeah, I can get what you're saying. Maybe even, even Link will get better. Because they can lock down the field and draw using that Chaos Breaker, and then they have heal triggers to start guarding with. Draw triggers will be better because you can draw, in the, you hit draw triggers, you're more like to, the heal triggers are now perfect guards and things. So you can guard the niggles. With I just like the fact that if you draw a heal trigger, it's just it's not no longer a bad thing. Sake, it's, or, oh, that's quite nice. That seems to be draw triggers that do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need to all start going into soul now, all of them. <laughs> Um, right, I think that was the main points we wanted to get across. It's somehow it turned into Mike talking about the meta and his decks again. What do you mean again? You always seem to go on off a tangent. It's like, I want to talk about my deck. You look at me like, say something, so I have to... The problem with me is, I like, I just like to talk nonsense. So if Aaron looks at me like, you should say something, I'm like, um, I just, I just fished something out of my head, like, talk about Grand Blue, okay. It was meant to be just a channel update about well, how is, the format is, is, what we think about it, and what we're doing with our channel. But that can't be summarised in a sentence, is the problem, you've got to go into it a bit more. <laughs> I know, I know. 
Um, so to summarise, that was, yeah, the format's kind of slow except for the fast decks that are topping. It's kind of annoying to be honest. G guidelines are coming into existence. We like the idea of them, but not a big fan that they just doubled the G zone. Just, yeah, pretty much that. And we want to potentially travel to different places, meet different people, and record with them to cook on our channel for a bit of variety, so it's not just me and Mike constantly. And Yuri whenever he turns up. <laughs> <laughs> whenever he just swings by like some traveller. <laughs> Howdy there! <laughs> and I guess like another point, we also plan to do more giveaways depending if our elusive fourth member decides to sort some stuff out. <laughs> Have a fourth. <laughs> I know, right? It might as well just be us two at this point. <laughs> it is, it really is. It's just us two fending for ourselves. So I think that was pretty much it. Yeah. Anything sure. else, Mike, before we wrap up? <laughs> Don't make me fish or something. <laughs> no, no more fishing. Okay, no, I think we're done, guys. So I hope this was okay. I hope we kind of got our points across without being too harsh or depressive or whatever. Um, again, we did make the point earlier, but if you could please let us know what you like on our channel, what you don't like, and what you'd like to see, and we'll try and do our best to make the channel more exciting. We're here to kind of please you guys and entertain you. So, yeah. 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 Okay, I think that's it. So, thank you guys for listening, and we will see you guys next time.